What's going on guys, it's Pixelated and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Thanos and what his favorite sneaker would be if Thanos was a sneakerhead. Now at this point we all know, have watched, and if we haven't watched we have heard about how much of a vicious evil being Thanos, the main villain from the Avengers Infinity War movie can be. He goes from planet to planet with his posse simply to wreak havoc for their own selfish reasons without a care for who gets decimated along the way. But what we don't see is the man before he departed on his journey to be the evil villain that he's touted to be. Why did he choose what he chose to wear during his journey to decimate half the universe. I mean, it's going to be a long, arduous journey. Dude has to stand up for the entirety of the movie. I don't think I saw him sit down once. Spoiler alert. You need some serious cushioning for that. What we do know is what he does during the movie and what kind of a being he is, so let's dive deeper to figure out what Thanos' favorite sneaker would be if he was a sneakerhead. And I couldn't find anything purple, so we got these two Canadian $10 bills to represent Thanos. I don't know how that's going to happen. They're just going to be sitting here. Mon my name Thanos. Fair warning, there might be minor spoilers during this video, so if you're one of the few people on this planet watching this video that haven't seen the movie yet, maybe watch the movie first. You've been warned. Now we see Avengers Infinity War start off with Thor's ship, the one with all the Asgardians being ambushed by Thanos and his cronies, having laid waste to half the Asgardians on the ship, and lo and behold, before we even get past the first scene of the movie, a battle between Thanos and Hulk ensues. This doesn't just set the tone to let you know just how much action is going to be in the movie, it gives us an idea of just how much physical activity Thanos has to partake in at every one of his stops. We quickly realize that he is the enemy and everywhere he goes he's going to find people who will battle him. It's inevitable. A guy like that not only needs to be jacked and armed as Thanos already is, but he needs a swift pair of feet protectors to make sure his ground feelers are protected from harm's way. A bulky dude like Thanos needs a bulky pair of shoes. This brings us to our first suggestion. The Yeezy 750 in the chocolate colorway. This sneaker isn't just hype with its boost technology, it has the cushioning Thanos needs to get through his tirades without exhausting his feet. It's a high top so it covers enough the foot and ankle area to keep the crucial joint areas protected and it's layered well with a thick suede material and the strap for that military look to make Thanos that slight bit more intimidating to his foes. There are a few problems with the 750s though. Suede's a nice material and it's decently thick, but as anyone who owns a pair of 750s knows, they're not the most comfortable when they're zipped all the way up. Your ankle starts chafing against the back of the shoe and it just starts to get a little painful. As a world-class villain, Thanos needs to have the best shoe. The shoe has to be zipped up all the way to keep the feet protected and that's compromised when the shoe is only halfway zipped up. On top of that, the outsole doesn't really have all that much grip, not the best for going into battle with. Once again, not something a giant ass Thanos can live with. Deeming that the 750s have flaws that Thanos can't overlook, we gotta start looking for other alternatives, bringing us to option number two. The Alien Stomper High. Reebok released this sneaker as an ode to the older movie franchise Aliens and seeing as Thanos traverses the galaxy to battle beings of different species from different planets aka Aliens, it would only make sense to have a shoe named after the violent act of stomping them out. On top of that, it's probably the highest top of a sneaker you can find. That means protection all the way up to the knees. How do you say no to that? Nothing these boisterous come without obstacles though and a few of the obstacles with this shoe is that one, with its off-white and red colorway, it's not very subtle and granted Thanos is never subtle in this movie really. Dude looks like a purple roided up jack show for crying out loud. But with his current purple and, well, purple color scheme, this isn't really his best choice. Aside from that, there is no special cushioning tech in this shoe to speak of, and with the heavy armor my boy from Titan is wearing, he's gonna need to absorb all that shock from all that weight, and these aren't the shoes that are gonna do that for him. Which leads us to our next two options, the first being the Kith X LeBron 15 King's Crown, which is the one in that black floral gold colorway. What's not to like about these shoes? The boy Thanos is gonna be out on the battlefield and he'll need that cushioning. And you know these got that zoom cushioning, that cushioning is amazing. Let's just say these shoes got him on that cushioning. Even the upper knit is named Battle Knit, perfectly on brand for when he commits his planetary atrocities. It's a high top covering the most important part of the feet. Now I know you're wondering, Pix, why on earth would this be the shoe that he wears? You know what? You're right, it's a really weird choice, but I had to throw it in there because if you're not in the know, Thanos just got arrested in Toronto on Instagram the other day and he had a ton of gold on his kicks. That threw me the hell off. I had no idea how much gold he had on his kicks until he got arrested or how much he was into gold and I just had to throw this in there because I knew it would be comfortable and it's got those fire gold hits. But honestly, I'm with you guys on this one. This is a weird shoe. Plus, even though the upper material is called Battle Knit, you know he's not protected with soft ass knit around the shoe. Iron Man's beam cannon will literally shred these things to threads. Well, that leaves us with our final option. 
we have the Kith X Nike Air Maestro 2 in the purple colorway. Oh boy, what do we have here? Let's take a gander. Thanos, heavy set dude, got a million foes, astronomically more accounting half the universe. He's got to fight. He's got to protect them feet. The air maestros are made of layers of fabric and thick nubuck. They've got him covered on that protection. The asymmetric lacing and the zipper on the sides means it'll be easy for him to slide them on and difficult for his enemies to pull them off like they tried to do with the infinity gauntlet. You know, when you're battling and dodging laser beams and Spider-Man's web shots, you got to be agile and make those cuts without rolling those ankles. That basketball style support and grippy bottom has you covered and the shock absorption this shoe has air cushioning tech for crying out loud it might not be new tech but it's something and finally thanos is purple the shoe is purple i think we found thanos's favorite shoe if you enjoyed this video hit that like and subscribe button do you think thanos would rock the bejesus out the kith air maestro 2s as a sneakerhead or is there another sneaker he'll rock better let me know in the comments catch you later pixelated is finding the hype stone